High atop the remote, rocky slopes of California's White Mountains, the harsh conditions make it difficult for life to take root. But for a certain type of tree, and for those who have traveled here to study it, this place is paradise. Did they finish one already? They've done that one. Okay, yeah. they've done that one in there. Do you want that one up there as well? These gnarled bristlecone pines are the oldest individual trees in the world. Researchers like Andy Bunn have come to learn from the ancients. Looking at this tree, would you have any idea how old it is? So I've been doing this long enough to not try and guess, play the guessing game too much. It'd be easy for this tree to be 1,000 years old. It would be easier for it to be 2,000 years old. Older than that would be unusual, but not impossible. There are bristle cones in this grove that are more than twice as old. It's remarkable to sit there and have your hand on one of those trees and know that it was growing when the pyramids were built. By taking core samples from the trunks, a process which the researchers say doesn't harm the trees, it's possible to extract their hidden history. Dendrochronology is the science of dating tree rings. Each tree ring, you know, they're formed annually, is like a time capsule of the environment for that year from which it was formed. And it contains many different types of information, you know, chemical information, information on growth, climate information. Matt Salzer is a dendrochronologist at the University of Arizona's Laboratory of Tree Ring Research, where he works alongside Professor Charlotte Pearson. If you're trying to look at people in the past through time, tree rings give you a way to do it in a, in a way that makes sense in a human life scale. Pearson first became fascinated with the bristle cones after reading about an ancient volcanic eruption on the Greek island of Santorini. It blew my mind that trees on either side of the world could possibly be used to date this thing to, a, to within a single year. Massive eruptions can eject so much ash that they cool the entire planet. Since bristle cones put on narrow rings during especially cold years, scientists have used those rings to help establish an eruption date of 1560 BC. We're moving backwards through time. Here we change between AD and BC, and we're into the BC period now, going backwards through time right to the very end where we come to uh, 1700 BC. By matching up core samples from live trees with wood from dead trees, it's possible to create a record that stretches back even further. The oldest known living bristle cone is estimated to be over 4,800 years old. Named Methuselah, the tree's precise location inside Inyo National Forest isn't publicized, and we won't be showing it to you here. Scientists are worried extra attention might attract vandals. Plus, in all likelihood, it's not actually the oldest. Do you believe that there are older trees out there? It's almost certainly. It would be naive to think that we just happened to get the oldest tree you know, when we look. Age on the inside isn't always apparent on the outside. Up a long, winding dirt road from the Methuselah Grove stands the Patriarch Tree. It really does feel like you're, you know, in the presence of something magnificent. Though this is the largest known bristlecone pine, it's a comparative youngster at around 1,500 years old. It's, there's not a lot of places in the world where you can get a feeling of being around trees like this. What makes this place challenging for most species might be the secret to the bristlecone pine's success. They live in this sort of moonscape where they have figured out a life history strategy where they can eke out a living in this incredibly difficult environment and they don't really have to compete with other organisms. For Andy Bunn, the climate record written in the rings offers guidance for how we might think about what's happening in the present as we plan for the future. What we're seeing increasingly is that a lot of the climate events that we are experiencing and living through right now have no precedent in the paleoclimate record. So we really are moving into uncharted territory. Like us, bristle cones mark time in years. But their lives are so long, these twisting sentinels see a far bigger picture. Does it give you some perspective on your own lifespan? Yeah, I've, definitely. It gives me not only perspective on my own lifespan, but also on sort of human civilization. And to look back and to see everything that humanity has accomplished and to go back and read the rings of these trees and to think about what humanity was like at different periods while those trees were growing is incredibly humbling.